Network 10's hit show MasterChef Australia is entering its final weeks and one of the leading chances to win is Lucas Parsons. He's moved on from a high profile professional golf career to chase a dream in the food industry. It wasn't that long ago that Lucas Parsons was one of Australia's best young golfers. Oh, our leader by two. He spent more than a decade on the European tour, won the Greg Norman International and even beat an up-and-coming Tiger Woods. I'm glad I've at least been in once. He still hits a mean driver. Maybe the body just wanted some rest. You never know. But these days the clubs collect more dust than divots. It's nice to hit some balls actually. How long's it been? Oh, I had a couple of shots about two months ago, apart from that I think uh, last March. So it's been a while. When injury brought on early retirement, Lucas looked forward, not back. Do you want a sugar or anything? Life after golf was quickly underway. Well, I kind of set a goal 2000 if that I'd love to own a cafe in about 10 years. And it just came a couple of years earlier, so. It's all right, you know how to make coffee. Well, I hope I do. <laughs> He's opened a cafe in the Sydney suburb of Randwick, right next door to his mother-in-law's bookstore. He's a nurturer. He loves to feed people. He likes to look after them, you know, feed the, feed the, feed the face, feed the soul. But five weeks after the barista was born, there was a new twist. Hey guys, oh, it's welcome good to be to here. Master Chef Kitchen. Mate, With one spicy serving of chili time. crab. And for me, it's it's a yes. Lucas was in the running to become Australian television's first Master Chef. Yeah, they loved it. How excited are you now? Really this excited. News. This yeah. news is huge. Yeah, it's huge. And I see him as somebody that not only has a little bit of a talent for food and that will grow, but also that somebody who's got a natural generosity of spirit that really wants to... You'd want to go to his restaurant, wouldn't you? Professional golf and master chef may seem poles apart, but for Lucas, that's exactly how this journey began, travelling the world and absorbing culture through cuisine. I was never one to, you know, go and sit under the Eiffel Tower and read a book. I'd prefer to go and eat in a restaurant and look at it. So far, he's been one of the competition's success stories. The meat's cooked absolutely perfectly. He went head-to-head -head with internationally renowned chef Ben O'Donoghue. I gave Lucas his dish and ate. <laughs> and won, catapulting him into the final. Um, wow. I was never really one-dimensional. I tend to create shots. I, I was quite creative the way I played. I was never really one fairway green, two-putt kind of player. I um, saw shots, took them on. Try to be quite creative in that way and, and cookings like that. He made for us last night his own risotto, which was beautiful. And then he made poached pears with a zabaglione sauce. That's not bad for a Sunday night dinner, is it? Stop it, you're making us hungry. <laughs> As the elimination process continues, Lucas is being tutored by one of Australia's leading chefs, building his skill base for the business end of the competition, and hopeful the best chapter is yet to be written. From amateur to professional would be huge, and this is a massive learning curve, but you know what, I think he can. And right here, right next to the counter, is the sports section. Is there any, is there any symbolism to that? Oh, maybe a little bit, you know. <laughs> and how does your story end? I don't know. For this journey. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, you know, winning this uh, con contest, you get a book deal, so it might, it might be in fine print. There you one go, day. you might you end up, up right there. Might end up right there. Might be a bit of golf, bit of, bit of food, bit of wine. Maybe a bit of a blend would be good. Good luck. Thank you. Paul Cochran, 10 News.